Welcome to Kaleidoscope is for IG. Let's talk. Sri Lanka's women representation in STEM appears to be okay, but at graduate level, the UGC notes that only 60% of women actually complete their degree and only 42% go into postgraduate level. But Sri Lanka is home to some remarkable women in STEM who are blazing a trail to the future. Today, we are talking with one of them. Women's Day was on the 8th of March and as Kaleidoscope celebrates International Women's Month, with us today on S4IG Let's Talk is the Woman Entrepreneur of the Year, Dr. Chandana Mali Punchiheva. She's a STEM woman and a brave entrepreneur. Chandana Mali, welcome and congratulations. What a feat, Woman Entrepreneur of the Year. What does this award mean to you? It actually does mean a lot. Um, I started the work out of a necessity more than um, as a business because there was a void uh, in this genetic testing area that I saw needed to be filled in order to provide a better service um, in this country. So uh, just uh, the, the work that came out of necessity being recognized is a good thing which actually encourages me to um, you know, hold on to these despite all the challenges and all that and and even do more work in the area. So you're in the STEM space. What actually pushed you to pursue that dream? I'm in science. I'm a biologist. I'm a scientist. So um, the field wasn't, I don't think that made a, a, a differentiation as such. But um, running a business, whether I think of a man or a woman, is a challenge. How things are in place in the country for an entrepreneur to come up, um, how, a thing, how everybody you know how the, the organizations try to facilitate things all those i think actually need improvement so uh, so that it was challenging for me to discover them and then go to go through all the loopholes and try to get things together so gene labs medical is your genetic testing lab and you brought stem and entrepreneurship together how did that happen so stem women in entrepreneurship I, like i think in my case you would be involved in technical side as well as the business side. So that's a lot to handle um, all at one time. Um, so because it's difficult for you to find expertise um, locally also um, in, in STEM areas. So you end up having to do a lot of the work yourself. So um, as a woman trying to manage both that the business, the technical side, you know, the, uh, the HR aspect of it, and then also, you know, somewhat of the family commitments, um, e e e that all together is the challenge that a woman faces. So women in STEM, how difficult is it to get into that area and stay in that area, make it a career? To get into the STEM area, I don't think it's, it's that difficult because we um, do have good education in the country. Um, so many women in universities in STEM. You know, one, with that education, once you get into a workplace, um, how you can go up the ladder, you know, how you can do the day-to-day -day work, because you are, you know, although you are in STEM and a woman, you are compared to a man in the same area when it comes to the work. I mean, you can't blame sometimes the workplace because, you know, they also have to look at productivity and all that. So. So, you know, um, um, working at the same capacity while having additional duties and responsibilities, I think that is the challenge more than being in, in STEM. So what do STEM women bring to the table, both in entrepreneurship and as an employee? A research that I had read by Pew Research um, a group in US, they had mentioned in a big survey done, um, of people who have worked under uh, women and men leaders that um, women are more compassionate, um, they are more ethical. Uh, uh, so, you know, that, that is something they bring to the table, that it is easy to, negotiate, easy to work with women because they would uh, look at things more compassionately and would be able to work with an, with, with a, with an employee better. But then again, you know, men also have their strengths. They, based on this study, men have uh, been known to be more, um, better at working under stress and better at negotiation and better at risk taking. So for all those young women in STEM who are looking at you as a role model, what would you say to them? Number one would be follow your passion. Um, no matter what you do, um, I think the passion that you have for the field is what takes you places. As long as you have that and you take steps, you take your steps to 
follow that field, there will be a lot of challenges. It is normal not to be discouraged by them and, and enjoy them because you always, always, always learn from your challenges. A massive thank you to our wonderful partners, Skills for Inclusive Growth in Australian Aid, Selico Life, CDB, The Morning Newspaper and Made by Her. If you like Kaleidoscope, subscribe and follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn.